All right, you guys, we got something special going on today. We're going to be doing some turkey legs, you guys, some smoked, tender turkey legs, guys. I'm going to show you how to make the most tenderest turkey legs, better than the turkey hut, and even at the fair. This is going to be better than the fair, you guys. I'm going to show you an easy way to do it, very simple and easy, guys. I'm going to show you two ways to make a jerk turkey leg and a traditional turkey leg, you guys, tender and juicy. Let's get into it. As you see in the thumbnail, I told you we're going to be doing some smoked turkey legs. I'm going to be showing you how to do a dry brine. You know, it's very simple and easy. Pretty much all I'm going to use is some Himalayan pink salt. And we're also to be using some uh, celery salt. And that's it. And you can actually brine this either overnight or six to eight hours. You know, so our, these were already brined overnight, you know, uh, with some Him Himalaya salt. So the tip right now is to, you know, basically, you know, um, you can dry brine them. They have a wet brine and stuff like that. And what, what you do with the dry brine is, you know what I'm saying, uh, season it with your pink salt as well as with your uh, celery salt. You know, you can do pepper or whatever like that. Leave it on this rack open, you know what I'm saying, in the refrigerator so that it can dry out. So what it's gonna do is the salt is going to, you know what I'm saying, uh, pull out a lot of the moisture and also too it's gonna uh, put in a lot of uh, moisture inside of it as well. That's what the salt, you know, if you notice people use a lot of salt, they use it as a preservative. So this is one way to do it. So this is how you get a really juicy, uh, uh, smoked turkey leg, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm already done, done with this. What I'm gonna do right now is just season it up, and we're gonna get ready to put this on my uh, uh, pit boss uh, smoker, and we're gonna get to smoking them up. You know, really simple and easy. You know, now you can do it the long way by, you know, sending them in a brine, but we're gonna, we just did a dry brine. All right, you guys. So let me get into, you know, seasoning it up. Show you how to uh, pull back the skin on your turkey leg. Now these are pretty nice size ones. Uh, the reason why I do this, because you know, have you been to the, you know the state fair, whatever like that, and you have, you know, they be real, real tough and they're flavorful, they're more smoky. But this is where you can take it to the next level by seasoning it under the skin. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show you all you gotta do. You might need a knife, but you know I've done this so many times. You know, you just just pull it back, pull the skin back. Like I said, you might have a little, you know, membrane that you gotta uh, pull back from, and just pull it down. You know, and that's it. And what we're gonna do is season it. You know, so season the skin, and then we're gonna put the skin back because you know that's one of the favorite parts. You guys. So what I'm gonna do now is, you know, I'm using, you know, said, uh, uh, grandpa uh, 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 pecan rub. You know, what I did was, you know, said just a little tip. You know, so let my boy know uh, 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 TNT. You know, what I'm saying it does clump up. You guys. So find, you know, uh, uh, my boy. Find out from the guy that actually did your seasoning, why does it clump up? Because, you know, that can be sometimes a turn off for some people, but like I said, but the seasoning is great, you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very excellent. You know, I can't uh, complain. So what I did was, you know, to get my unclump, I put it in a bigger bottle and shook it up with some little space to give some air to it, stuff like that. But, you know, um, you know, don't take no offense, my boy. I'm just letting you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, find out, because it shouldn't be sticking like that, because they have uh, something they want to put in there. But anyway, uh, so I'm gonna get ready to season it up, you know, right now. So I'm seasoning it up with his uh, 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 TNT seasoning. You know, this is a really good one. You know, it goes good on, you know, pork, you know, any kind of uh, uh, barbecue. You know what I'm saying? This is his go-to. And all you gotta do is just roll it back, you guys, the skin, roll it back, pull it up. Yeah, and that's how you get the flavor in there. Now, if you want to, you can stick a, a toothpick to hold it. You know what I'm saying? But, and just season it on the outside. Like I said, you know, uh, I, I have probably had leave a link in my, uh, Below on how you can get, you know what I'm saying, uh, TNT's, you know what I'm saying, uh, seasoning. This is his, what's his grandpa pecan uh, rub, you know what I'm saying, very, very good. You know what I'm saying, it's, it's funny he did pecan, you know, he's not from Texas, but you know, Texas, they known for their uh, pecan trees out here, so that was a good, good, you know, seasoning, good name and everything like that. He's, he said that's a, uh, you know, family uh, 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 seasoning. So yeah, just season it up well. And like I said, just roll your Skin back on. Now you can season it with whatever you like. Like I said, this is just what I want to do. You know, send a showcase uh, TNT seasoning. You know, um, this is a really good one. You know, it says great, great on pork. You know, from when I heard, I was, uh, uh, you know, so big on pork products. And uh, I don't know if, you know, I'll show you, I'm probably gonna come up with the video and, you know, met up with him when he had his grand opening for his seasoning and his uh, rub. I mean, his mop sauce. You know, uh, they're really lovely family. Him and his wife uh, did meet a few other people, ran to the Uncle Steve. You know, uh, and I'm gonna come out, you know, I know you guys been hearing me talk about Uncle Steve a lot, so, you know, uh, he has some great seasonings as well. You know, so definitely check out Uncle Steve, you know. I mean, he has a website, you can look him up under Uncle Steve, he'll pop up, you know, and I can definitely uh, put his in there, but uh, let me finish seasoning this up. And that's all you gotta do, just thoroughly season them up. You know, it may look like a lot, but you gotta remember, you know, this is a large piece of meat and it's gonna smoke for a while. So you wanna make sure you get impact all, you know, 
season throughout the whole entire piece of meat. So that's all you need to do. You just cover this. And that's it. Put, it. put the meat back over. Season up the outside. Once I, let me finish these up. I'm gonna stick them in a the smoker. All right, so what you wanna do, put your oven on 250 degrees. When you're actually uh, putting in your uh, drum, put them to the top. You know what I'm saying? Put them at the top. So that's where it smokes at. I'm gonna put the next one at the top row. You're gonna let them stay in there for about a good three hours. And you know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna come back, see what the color is. I'm gonna spray it with a little uh, uh, oil and check on them probably in the next two hours. All right, you guys, so we just took it off the uh, smoker. Uh, they looking really good, you guys. You see the coloring, it got some good smoke. Oh man, if y'all can smell this right now, this aroma is amazing. So right now, then I finished. I did let it get to about 170 inner temperature of these uh, uh, turkey legs. Now I'm about to wrap them, you guys. Uh, you know, like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna do them two ways. You know what I'm saying? One way, I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm saying, jerk style. I'm gonna do it the original way, season it up, you know, smoke. But I wanted to, you know, throw my little, you know, special jerk season it on there and everything like that and wrap it up. So we're gonna get ready to do that. And I'm gonna show you how this gonna be falling off the ball right now. They're not falling off the ball, but actually done. You can eat them like this, but who wanna eat them like this and be tugging on some meat? I'm gonna show you how these gonna bad boys gonna be falling off the ball. So let me get into wrapping them up, you guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, uh, wrapping this up before we stick, stick them in the oven. Like I said, I got two different ways. So, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned to both, you know, the second way. But, you know, we're gonna get ready to wrap it up. It's still warm, you know, it's still, still nice and stuff like that. You know, what I gotta do first is, you know, you know, you know, if I'm gonna go all out, I might as well hook up uh, TNT's mop sauce on it too. So, you know what I'm saying? So, this is what the mop sauce looks like. Definitely check out TNT, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, so I'm about to throw this on there and throw some more seasoning on top of it and we're gonna wrap this up. So, what I like to do is I like to put my wet base on there first. So, let me do this first. Now, what I say is if you're gonna be wrapping more than one, stack them on top of each other so you don't have to keep pulling, pulling them out. Ooh, man, these bad boys are smelling good, y'all. Smelling good, smelling good. You know, uh, let me see. Yep, so we got make it make a little boat. You know, the reason why I do that, because you know, you're gonna have some, you know, stuff rolling around. Now some people do put butter in it, some people parquet, you know, different things like that. But I'm gonna use this wet base to put it up in there. So just add a little bit of this on top of the uh take your leg. Alright, add a little bit in there. And then next you wanna add in this uh to top it all off, put a little bit more of his seasoning. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just seasoning up well. You know, like I said, his seasoning is really, really well balanced. So don't worry about feeling like you're over salting it and stuff like that. This has actually a nice uh, brown sugar in it, you know, with a few other, uh, uh, you know, since family ingredients that, you know, he didn't let me know about, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, it's all right. But, uh, this, you know, I'm gonna get ready to roll it up. So, fold the top part up, you know what I'm saying? Like fold it over like a burrito. So, fold it up, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna roll it. You know what I'm saying? Roll it like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Tuck it in, fold it over, squeeze it. You know, make sure it's tight, 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 tight. You know? And put it on your pan. And I'm gonna do the next one. All right, so we're gonna do another one. Same method, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna pour over, you know what I'm saying? His mop sauce again. Like I said, you can get this from TNT. You know what I'm saying? He got a mop sauce and his uh, seasoning. I'm using both of them in this. So, like I said, fold it up. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you put it dead center. Roll it on you. Now, I'm gonna tell you, these bad boys are gonna be better than the state fair, y'all. I don't care what y'all get over there. These, ain't none of this gonna be snagging. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't even have to have dentures. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can be nubbing on this with some gums. It's still gonna go down good. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be great, great flavor and everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, thanks to my boy Thyron and his wife, you know what I'm saying, Terry, you know what I'm saying? It uh, uh, was, was a wonderful pleasure meeting him when they came down to Houston, you know, when he had his grand opening. I will be having a video coming out on when I met them, hung out with them and stuff like that and show you uh, uh, the hospitality we all gave him and the hospitality he showed back in return because, you know, he's a wonderful, him and his wife were definitely a wonderful uh, group of people. And uh, TNT, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Thyron, don't trip, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's all love and, 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 and you know, when, I, when I'm explaining about the seasoning, man, so don't, you know, don't, don't have no hard feelings about it, I'll do it about anything. When I'm doing a review about something, I'll be tell the truth about it. So I'm just letting you know, you know, letting everybody know. So, you know, it won't, you know stuff won't turn nobody away. Is, you know, say it may clump up. 
So you want to be fully, fully aware of that. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So I'm just letting you know, bro, you know uh, about that. That it does do that. It might be because of the seal, because I noticed all of them, the seals wasn't on. So, uh, and that's probably what's keeping, you know, putting, bringing in moisture. You know, here in Texas, you know how it is. We got bad moisture out here because humidity is high. So next, you guys, I'm going to get on to hooking up this bad boy. This is, I love making jerky, guys. I know you guys seen my last video. I'm probably going to post it up in the comments, or, I mean, on the video below. You know what I'm saying? On how I made my uh, jerk turkey breast. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to make a jerk turkey leg, smoke leg. You know what I'm saying? So it's already smoked, but this is my, you know, my favorite jerk. You know what I'm saying? This is my jerk mixture, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Got a little bit left over. I'm about to spread it on top. You know what I'm saying? Man, jerk it up. Now, mind you, all, every one of these, you know, um, every one of these uh, turkey legs have um, TNT's uh, seasoning in it. Because I told you, if you're watching the beginning of the video, you know what I'm saying? I seasoned it up. But, you know, right now, this is my secret blend of my seasoning, of my jerk seasoning. It was going to be coming out very, very soon, you guys. So, you know, you can go to your local store or buy mine and hook up your jerk, you know what I'm saying? Anything jerk, because I have an all-purpose jerk that goes on everything, and I mean everything, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned to that. And that's all you need to do, you guys. I wanted to make, you know what I'm saying, a couple of ways of doing this, so why not do it? You know what I'm saying? And just wrap it up tightly, you guys. Wrap it up tightly, you know what I'm saying? You don't want no, uh, nothing to get out. And this is, this is one of the secrets to, you know what I'm saying, it being really tender and fall off the bone. All right, so I'm gonna do the last one. Man, you know, you guys, you got to smell this bad boy. If we have some bomb smell of vision, you know, you're gonna love this. And like I said, this goes on anything, you guys, literally anything. So just uh, pour it over. You see, you see, you see that, need some herbs and spices, all spice, thyme, you know what I'm saying, everything in here, ginger, brown sugar, you know, can't give you all the secrets. So, <laughs> you know, so you see, I said, you know, let me, you know, I have to stop. I see, you know, the wife, you looking at me like, don't be giving up everything. You know what I'm saying? That's all right, girl. I ain't giving up everything. You know what I'm saying? So just sprinkle over the uh, dry rub. So you notice I'm doing the wet and dry rub because, mind you, this is already smoked. It's already done. You know what I'm saying? Like this. All we're doing is just getting ready to tenderize. Just to tenderizing it and add more flavor into it. And that's all we're doing, you guys. So fold it up. Make sure the leg is ready. You know what I'm saying? Get wrapped up. You know, and another, another thing is, is, let me give a, I'm gonna give a shout out to Billy Davis. Billy Davis, you know what I'm saying? You know, I went by his house, man. I'm gonna show you a video of him. You know, hung out with him, his family, and everything like that. He would get down, you know, in a smoker. And, you know, it just made me say, man, go on and make you some turkey legs. You know, I've made turkey legs on many occasions, but, you know, I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, dedicate also to this video to Billy Davis. Really cool guy. He makes ugly drums. I'm gonna post up, you know, in here, you know, say he makes ugly drums. You can order your drum from him. You know what I'm saying? Like that. He makes some very, but nice and sweet. He sells out all the time. So look out for it when I actually post up, you know what I'm saying, his Facebook page on it. You know what I'm saying? He just, it's good, as, you know, to support some mom and pop shops. And he's one of those, you know what I'm saying, down her earth uh, guy. And, you know what I'm saying? And please support this guy. He makes bomb, bomb competition ugly drums, you guys. You know, I, I had a brisket from it. Man, it was falling off. Man, it was so, so tender. You know what I'm saying? And that bad boy was, the bark was amazing. All right, so enough talking. Let me get this in the oven. I put the oven on 350 degrees. I'm gonna stick this in here and you know check it till tenderness. So you know I'm gonna use a, a Billy's uh, method, squeeze method. But you know, bro, I'm gonna have some gloves on. I'm gonna be burning my fingers. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, you know, so let's get over. All right, so been about a good hour and a half in the oven on 350 degrees. I'm taking it out. Do the pinch test. That's my boy Billy said. The pinch test, squeeze test. Ooh, yeah, it's, it's, it's done. Now it's time to open them up. All right, so let me take one of them off. Let's see how well we did. That should be a jerk. <clears throat> and this one should be the regular bar. It'll be Q1 hooked up. You know, that uh, TNT uh, uh, seasoning and his uh, mop sauce. Let's see how both of them went. All right. Let's open it up. Let's see how it's looking. Smelling good, smelling good. What y'all think? It came, look, look like it came out pretty good. Now, I'm gonna use uh, Billy Davis you know, uh, 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 
hinder test. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is what he showed me at the house, you know. Billy Davis, you know, said, tender test. All right, Billy, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. What, what, what that looking like right there, guy? What that looking like? That tender or what? Let's the, 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 see. That was on one side. All right, all right. I think we got it down. Billy, what you think I did? How I do? How did I do? Now, you know, I got to do a taste test on it. Okay. Tastes good. Came out real, real good. Now, that's the, uh, this the one with the uh, uh, TNT uh, um, seasoning and mop sauce. Let's see what this jerk look, look like. Yep. That Jake, I'm a jerk. Making me a jerk. What's that, uh, Jamaican me happy? What y'all think right there? Pick it up. Show you that ten, ten, tender test. You know what I'm saying? So I smash it. There you go, guy. Ten, ten as it can be. Got the flavors. Smelling that uh, Caribbean aroma. All right, we'll try these out too. You know, really, I did your little squeeze test, so you know it was done. So you let me know, you know, how they go. How'd I do? Woo. Hot. Hot but flavorful though. So my uh, smoked turkey legs with jerk on it came out great. And my smoked turkey legs with TNT's uh, mop sauce and seasoning, that little um, grandpa uh, pecan rub came out excellent, you guys. You know, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. You know, I know I did. It was fun, you know, making it. You know, I wanted to uh, um, show you how to do it, make it real, real tender. Definitely follow along the ingredients also to how I did it, you know, and it will come out just as perfect as I did. You see the smoke ring, you guys, you can do it yourself with that dry rub. All right, you guys, I'm going to show KC. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you try this, definitely put it on my Facebook page, the Urban Culture Kitchen, Food Feeds or So. You guys, I got the family to feed, so I need to get off. Get over to cooking it, you know what I'm saying? Serving it up, you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one.